Shalom, and welcome back to B'nai Noach Academy, Thoughts on Life. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe if you haven't done so yet, and most importantly, to share this wisdom and inspiration with friends and family. So beginning with the second day of Passover, all the way through until the celebration of Shavuot, which is the anniversary of Mount Sinai, God's revelation on that mountain when he delivered us the Ten Commandments, he delivered the Torah, not just for the Jewish people, but for all mankind. Jews count these days. It is actually a commandment in the Torah. As it says in Leviticus chapter 23, verse 15, And you should count for you from the next day of the celebration, next day of the holiday, and we count 49 days, seven full weeks. And then on the 50th day is the celebration, the 6th of Sivan. That's when we commemorate God's giving of the Torah to us, to the world. Now, question, what is the significance of this? What is the idea of it? What is the lesson for it for all of us, that universal message for all of us, even for those of us who don't actively have the commandment to actually count as one of the 613 commandments, which is exclusive for the Jewish people. But certainly the Torah belongs to everyone. So this is an idea that certainly should apply to all. Well, this brings to mind the famous adage, which says, and it's actually a rhyme of words, Adam doeg alimud damav ve'ino doeg alibud yamav. The word damav means his money. The word yamav means his days, literally, or his time. And thus the translation is man worries, is concerned about the loss of his damav, his money. But unfortunately, he is not concerned, does not worry about the loss of his yamav, his days, his time. And then it continues the adage and it concludes, damav chozrim, his money can always come back. Yamav enam chozrim, his days, his time never comes back. You know, we live in a society, in a culture, in a mindset that keeps on saying always, time is money. The truth is no, time is not money. Time is significantly and millions of times more precious than money. Money is something which can only buy us some material goods. Money can perhaps even buy us influence, but money is limited. And money, even when we don't have it, it's not the end of the road. It's not totally lost. In fact, even if somebody experiences the worst form of poverty, still, one can reach the greatest heights of affluence to the point that they will not even remember, not even minutely, those difficult moments, those difficult days of poverty. But when one loses an hour, when one loses a day, one loses a time, even a minute, that minute, that hour, that day is never coming back. Thus, we are encouraged to utilize our time. Think of time not just as a reality of the material world we live in. Think of it as something spiritual. We have the ability to turn the time into something significant. Get it to be the, per the, the, the fulfillment of the purpose that God gave it to us for. He gives us only a finite amount of time. Nobody lives forever. Nobody is going to be here for as long as they wish to be. We all have a limited amount of time. And God gives us that time. So in that, those years, months, weeks, days, hours, minutes, seconds, we could fulfill the purpose, the mission for what he put us on this world. And if we don't do so, that time is lost forever. And that time has now been pulled down into the mundane, into the lowest level into the mundane. Think of it as pulling down this time into the garbage versus elevating it to the ultimate, utmost spiritual heights. So remember, time is not money. Time is more precious than money, significantly more precious than money. Make good use of your time and elevate it to the great heights that it's supposed to, be, it's supposed to reach.